guys, welcome to a brand new day. And today, <coughs> I have my buddy the tree with a bird. This is Levi's new tree. It's a uh, small and skinny, which my mom wanted. Um, um, and he loves it. Good morning guys and welcome to today. Today is all about getting our barn ready because it's Saturday and Sam is home. Um, uh, poor Levi. Since, for another week. Yeah, since we've been home. AKA he's out someplace right now. Yeah. Um, And he's been out for like three hours. Yeah. Four hours straight. Yeah. Whenever there's work to be done, Sam disappears. <laughs> no, he is actually working. He's we are almost, gone out eating. we're working to be out of our old house. Like we want all of our stuff out of there now. So, um, and a friend is going to rent that house. So um, we have a friend who's gonna rent our old house and uh, we wanna get it ready so that it's empty when they move in. So um, for in 10 minutes, he's fits part Yeah, so since we moved this ha moved to this house, we didn't bring his old perch tree that oh. Sam built for him because it was huge. And we should make he has been needing a place to go. So Sophie's like, let's get that other tree that we got for him. And uh, yeah, so he's going to rip all of these branches, all these. He's going to spend this entire day taking every single one of these things off this tree. Mom, and then God, once it's empty, we're going to hang all sorts of toys and stuff on there for him to play with. And it's going to be his tree. We should put a platform like, we are and going then to like, um, he can go down there when he doesn't want to spend his time up yeah. here. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sophie. But we he should. he have to hold on to like one branch. So yeah, like birds belong in trees, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's always dreamed about flying in those trees over there. Yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> he, he goes to those windows and he stares out at that tree. And he's like, one day I will see you, tree. But yeah, I opened the front door today and he was on my shoulder and... Um, yeah, he did not fly out. He flew backwards because it was so cold out there. So we were duct taping Storm's nose, but we need proper duct tape. Did you guys see that thing on our Facebook page? Sam posted it last week about how if you take like a piece of duct tape and you put it a certain way on your horse's nose when the barrier is there, it acts like a natural kind of twitch. Yeah. And. But it's natural. Yeah, and so we're gonna try it and see if guys, we're gonna debunk like that myth, guys. Yeah, you can stick those on there. Guys, look. Mm -hmm. What equestrians have in their backpacks. Okay? I lick it. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. If you guys have probably already seen our new video announcing our new pet. And, um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it above here because you've got to go see it so you can see what we got. Um, but I've been following this miniature horse story on YouTube. I found this channel. Actually, somebody sent it to me. It's called Versatile Horsemanship LLC. I don't know what the LLC means, but this is it. And it's, uh, it's like a little farm in the States, not too far from us, actually. I think Michigan, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, um... They have a mini. Her name is Rosie and she is adorable. Like I'm in love with her. And she collect recently and there it took 5 days, I think. This lady ended up videoing um the course over 5 days of getting Rosie diagnosed and treated and took her to a clinic and 5 hours from their home and it chronicles her whole journey with colic and it was so, so well done. Like um, I have already dealt with colic and I understood everything that they were talking about but there were some surprises when they treated her that were so surprising to me and so shocking and like kind of scared me and kind of like you guys got to watch it like it was such a good story anyway I'll show you it so here it is um, it's what what's wrong with this pony and that's Rosie and then it had, there's like five videos I think Operation Save the Pony, Sick Pony. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, you should totally go watch it. It was amazing, even Sophie watched it with me. Who knows where we are right now? Someplace? This looks awesome! Yeah, someplace empty, oh my gosh. A new house! Yeah, we bought a new house, just joking. We're at our old house. Look at my poor plants is dying. I don't want those plants, I don't have any room for them. What am I gonna do with them? This one you got from Nick. Yeah, I should water them a little though. Um, 
yeah, like I'm here today to get everything cleaned. Craft cleaned. Craft covered. Bathroom. You guys, like, this is all of our alcohol. It was in our little cabinet. We don't drink. So Sam has been here busy packing up everything. We're gonna take these blinds with us when we leave because they belong to our new house. Horse. It's coming along, you guys. Like this, there's nothing upstairs. Bathroom. This used to be my bedroom. Like it's all clean, and this is all to just Sam, you guys. That was a ring. Yeah, we do. I'll get them right now. Look how huge your room was. I mean, her room now is huge, but. Sam's done such a good job. My room is empty. Oh no, look at my room in the sun. We need to take this big show. Moving is hard, you guys. Wow, it is so hard. Everything's so empty. But yeah, like we got out of this house. Like it was all Sam. I blame all Sam. Come on. Do you guys remember when we used this room for our bunnies? Imagine, remember? It's kind of cool out here. Never want bunnies again. Kudos to you guys who have bunnies because they're a lot of work. Let me in. So, the question is, is it worth $250 to get your favorite boots repaired or should you buy new boots? We're about to pick up Gabby's boots that we got repaired and we're gonna let you guys see and we're gonna let you guys know if it was worth it. Are you excited, Gabby, get your boots back? Yeah, even though I'm not using them right now. because She wearing... loves these ones, these winter ones. There's a dog in the store. What'd you say about her? She's so fat, but look at how tall she is. She's tall for a golden. Oh, she's an old girl. That's why. When you get old, you get fat. Right? Own it, sister. Be fat and be, be happy. All right. Zippers are replaced. Yeah, brand new zippers. And then brand new heels. But it almost makes it seem like these. this isn't going to last as much long as the heels. All right. Let's but see this. this was like worse before they fixed it. Okay, let's see it. And they're polished. And they're polished. Ready for show season. Yeah, and so the we back. We should use those for show season. Never buy ones that have material up to the zipper. Like, make sure it's leather all the way up to the zipper. Are you excited? We're finding it so hard to get everything done. I have everything sourced out, everything planned out. I have trucks waiting to bring and do our arena, but the people that, but the guy that is um, bringing us the tractor that we need, the tractor attachment that we need to scrape the arena and get it ready for all the footing, um, he, he keeps saying he's gonna bring it and then he hasn't brought it. So we're waiting on him and um, we're still trying to get out of our other house so that it can be rented and that's happening all this weekend. Plus we still have our horses that we have to see and family stuff, so I'm finding it really hard. My goal this weekend was to go and find electric fence and pole so that we could get that done. I really want Sam to do that, but he wants us to wait for another week till he has more time and it's just stressful. I feel like when Stella does come home, we'll be like scrambling to finish last minute things, but I am going to tell them that she's coming home soon. I want to bring her home on March 1st. I want to bring our mini home on March 1st or the weekend before. Speaking of Stella, I want to show you guys what's happening with we her. We got a package! Sophia! <laughs> we just checked the mail and the girls got a package, so they're super excited. But I want to show you guys and some letters. Yay! The package is from Chloe. Um, I want to show you guys what's happening with Stella. You guys, like, she is learning. I learned so much from that mare. She's teaching me that if you scream, a horse is gonna run off with you. She's teaching me if you teach her not to run off with you, she says, oh, okay, I won't do that anymore. Oh, or, or if you go, oh my God, she'll go. <laughs> yeah, like she is such a good teacher. Gabby is teaching her to have confidence and when she gets nervous now, she looks to Gabby to say, hey, what should I do? I hope you guys see in this little video of Gabby's ride on her this week. You just week. have to not confuse her. When mares get confused, yeah, they're like happy. no mare wants to be confused. Like, yeah, we just gotta not confuse her. But anyway, uh, here's this little clip, and we'll catch up with you guys in a little then bit. I don't know what 
Okay, so we're trying out a saddle. This is an Antares and it is 17.5. And I want a saddle that will fit me and I just don't know if that's the one. Because I'm really tall. I'm so nervous, like I'm so nervous, man. I still have anxiety when people ride her. Not that it was her fault. Just know that unless you're skilled, it can go bad fast. But Gabby's really good rider on her. Mm -hmm. You guys remember Sammy from her old barn? She came to watch today, right? You had a lesson? Who, who do you ride? I have blue. She has blue. She yeah. leases blue, right? She leases blue, you guys. Like, we're not seeing blue anymore, but she's seeing blue. Fits her beautifully, so. Fits the horse beautifully. All right, so, not going to fit you. so the reason I really want another saddle is because I, I really need something to fit me. Yes, we do. So I need to look for an 18 inch. I'm going to go backwards for Goodbye. Smart choice. Door. Well, that's too bad. But that's like my main goal. Like I don't want a whole bunch of saddles that I can't ride in. She's very energetic today. That's all right. Like holy crap. Use it. No. Make her do stuff. Make her move her feet. Soon, hopefully.
Look at this is Stella's thing. Stella is a barrel horse, man. <laughs> She's a fast horse. I don't have enough change. Hey, get off. Look who Nana has. He's looking me right in the eye. Hi. Hi, sweet boy. He likes glasses. Baby Jack likes glasses. His shirt says man of the house. Are you the man of the house? He's the pooper of the house. <laughs> you poop everywhere. Don't you know you're supposed to only poop in your diaper?